Hello everyone. In my last two videos, I talked about how we can run a UI vision macro from the command line and on a schedule. And depending on the platform we are using, whether it is Mac OS or Windows, the way we do it is completely different. Now a friend recently shared with me yet another approach, and that is using this open source Node.js based platform called Node.red. Now because Node.red can run both on Windows and Mac OS, and in fact on Linux as well, Using Node-RED essentially provides us with a single cross-platform approach to this problem. So, what is Node-RED? Now, as you can see here, Node-RED is a solution that allows users to quickly build up applications or programs with minimal coding. By allowing them to wire together nodes, which are really pre-built executable components. These Node-RED applications can then be triggered off from events such as a schedule. Now this will make more sense as we start looking into the platform itself. So to keep with tradition of learning any new programming language or tool, let's start with a Hello World application. So here we can see a node red flow with three nodes. The first node is essentially a node that starts the program by injecting a message with some values in it. In this case, we are adding a Hello World value and store it in the topic attribute of the message. The second node is a JavaScript function uh, where we can then manipulate that message. And finally, the third is a debug node where we can then use it to inspect the contents of the message. Okay, so let's run the flow now. But before that, let's first clear the debug pane. To start the flow, I just click on this little trigger here to start injecting the message into the flow. And as you can see, the message is constructed by the flow and displayed in the debug pane. Now let's change some values and rerun the flow. So we'll change hello world to I am cool. Okay, and then we deploy that change and we inject the message and you can say see no red says I'm cool okay and if we go into the function node and change a little bit of that right go back to the message and change the topic to something else deploy that flow inject the message and you can see how the application just uh, gets updated very easily through a point and click interface. Now, as you can see here, what Node-RED provides really is a low-code event-driven platform for us to quickly build up applications. And if you look to the left pane here, you would see many different types of nodes that comes with the platform, which essentially provides many pre-built functionalities that we can essentially just drag, drop, and use in our flows. So now that we've seen what Node-RED does, let's see how it can be used with our UI vision macro. Now, as per my earlier videos, we've seen how I have built a speed test macro to run a speed test. And we've also seen how if we want to run this macro automatically, we first need to go to the API tab and download a UI vision HTML file that we can launch from the command line. Now let's start with a new flow in Node-RED. We'll drag and drop some nodes that we will use to start the UI vision macro. We'll use an inject node and we'll use an execute node and we'll have a debug node. So if we open up the inject node, what we first do is change the payload to point to the UI vision file that we've just downloaded from UI vision. Okay, so it was downloaded to my downloads folder. Okay, and then as per my other videos, we noticed that if we want to call uh, the UI vision API, um, we'll have to provide the uh, URL parameters as well, like the direct request to one, as well as the macro, na macro name. Macro 
So just to make sure that the macro name is correct, it's in my demos folder and the macro name is called run speed test. Okay, so this is the actual parameter that we're going to pass into Chrome when we actually launch it. Okay, so we've set the payload. So now what we'll do is open up the exact node. And in here, we will provide node red with the path to Chrome. Okay, because we want to run uh, UI Vision with Chrome. So we get the path to Chrome. And we supply it to the execute node. Okay, and in node red we have to, uh, for any backslash, we have to do a double black slash. Okay. Okay, and we've done. And now all we need to do is wire up the nodes. Okay, so we'll wire up the standard output to that debug node. All right, and we're going to deploy that flow, clear the debug pane, and just run it. But we've hit an error. Essentially, there's no payload uh, because the flow didn't get to that stage. So let's look at the problem. Okay, so we realize that if we have spaces in between the names, uh, we need to put the double quotes around it. So let's deploy it again and let's run it. Okay, so see how um, Node Red has now just triggered off the UI Vision macro um, that I have in, uh, in my UI Vision macro library. So there you go, um, how we could trigger off a UI Vision macro using Node Red. Now, as you can see, Node Red is a pretty powerful platform, and it is my intention to explore this a little bit more. And in the upcoming months and weeks, we will certainly be looking at doing more things together with Node Red. So please stay tuned, and if you like the video, please do like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.